Hi guys, Dane and Biggie here. He's asleep, aren't you, Biggie? Yes, you're asleep. Thank you, co-host. And today we are doing Small Booktuber Sunday. It's time to do some shout-outs. We're going to talk about some booktube channels we like, Biggie. Yes. Okay, well the cat ran away, so it's just me. But anyway, as I was saying before my camera battery died, today it is Small Booktuber Sunday. So this is something that I'm kind of keeping going once a month. Basically, I'd schedule in a Sunday and share 10 of the booktube channels that I've been enjoying recently and tell you why you should go and subscribe to them. So that's what we're doing today. So let me get my list up. One thing I should say is that these aren't necessarily people with under a thousand subscribers as after all the whole sort of spirit of all of this is also helping people to get the watch time. And to be honest, I just like to shout out channels that I enjoy. So. First up, we're going to have Chrissy Books and Berries. Now, Chrissy, I've been watching for a couple of years now. And uh, even before, you know, she was one of my booktube friends from before I started actually making booktube videos myself. I really love her books and coffee videos, which are like once a month kind of a reading vlog almost but it also shows her going out to bookshops and you know reading while drinking cups of coffee and stuff like that so they're just super aesthetically pleasing she's a filipino booktuber she's just a really lovely person so i definitely encourage checking out her channel okay then we have hooked on books or as she pronounces it hooked on books which makes me laugh one thing that's cool on her channel that she does is that she has uh, like a roulette wheel that she uses to like determine which book to read and so that's a lot of fun her name is Shazza what I like about her stuff is that she's like she's clearly kind of like one of those people who thinks about what she's she's gonna say before she says it and so you know I just ramble in front of a camera I'm doing that now whereas her videos are all very sort of very well thought out and very well put together and also check out her Alice in Wonderland videos where she goes through her Alice in Wonderland collection because they're just beautiful okay next up we have Miriam from Between Lines and Life who I somehow haven't shouted out in one of these videos yet Miriam if you haven't already met her is possibly one of the funniest booktubers out there I think but I don't think she even necessarily realizes that she's so funny <laughs> I mean her mum is lovely she's got this lovely little like reading room where she lives there and she does an interesting mix of things as well in terms of some discussion videos some tags here and there and um, yeah just go check her out and she's got a written blog as well okay next up we have Angela from books and my heart so Angela is a booktuber and author tuber she mostly does romance which isn't necessarily a genre that I'm that interested in but I do like some of the stuff that she does for the community so she organizes words on the pageathon which I take part in which is a kind of a big writing marathon she's also done some things here and there with Cortagonist as well and so there's a bit of an overlap in some of the books that we read which is good but equally she's just a very nice person and heartily recommended from me okay then we have Charles Heathcote and Charles is another one who's kind of both a booktuber and an author tuber he's actually got a book called R Doris which uh, I saw Lisa's West Coast Reads read recently and she said it was very good so I'm hoping to pick it up myself soon he does a lot of videos uh, his wall gathering videos where he's just sitting in his car rambling about whatever happens to be on his mind that day and he's another person who's just really funny <laughs> like I just sit here and just laugh at whatever he's saying sometimes he will joke don't get me wrong but other times he'll say something totally seriously and I'll piss myself laughing at it and I don't I don't know whether he realizes that that's funny or not <laughs> but it is. Okay, then we have Mark Nash, and I guess Mark is kind of, well, he's an author, but he's a booktuber, if that makes sense. He's a bit like me. I don't go in too heavy in terms of writing videos and stuff like that, although I do want to do some more of them. Mark's great for discussion videos. He has a very interesting point of view on things. He's like, slightly older gentleman I would say I mean he's older than I am some of his stories as well like his take on the punk rock tag I encourage checking out just for the stories okay then we have Kath Elizabeth reads and I mean the main thing about her channel at the moment is actually that she's just moved into a new house with her partner and so like they're doing it up and so where <laughs> you see where she's filming videos there are like plug socket holes where there used to be plug sockets and for the record I would say I loved the fact that there were like four double plug sockets all in a row and she's like I'd never use these and meanwhile in my living room we've got like extension leads trailing off of other extension leads because we don't have enough plug sockets 
So I thought that was madness. However, her taste in books is exquisite. She's very like, she's another one who just, when she talks about stuff, I'm just like, just so, like everything she says, I'm just like, she's just so right. Just, so if you want a, a booktube channel that you're gonna watch and just nod all the time, then definitely check out her channel. Okay, then we have Lien's library. And fun fact about Lien, which I didn't realize recently, is that she's Latvian or that her family's Latvian. It's something like that. I know she lives in America, but while we were doing Latvian literature week, she got chatting to me about that, which was very cool. She does, she does a lot of, she does quite a wide variety of stuff. What I actually really like is that her filming location. I assume it's her bedroom, but it just looks like super cozy. Just check out the videos and you'll, you'll see what I mean. And um, she reads maybe quite a lot of YA, I, I would say. Uh, she does a few book unboxings here and there. Just, yeah, just, just one of those channels that I think her personality alone just makes me watch her videos, even though I might not necessarily be interested in particular books she's, she's talking about. Then we have Book Your Imagination, and this is Anne. You probably know Anne. If you if you move in like the similar booktube circle that I'm in, you've probably come across her channel before. She's another one of those people who's just really, really nice. Like, you, 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 you just want to be friends with her because she's so nice, you know. But also, she does some interesting stuff. What was it she went to uh, recently? It was... Um, Oh, it was was it it was Frankenstein. It was Frankenstein, but a ballet version of it. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> like, I really enjoyed getting the chance to go along with that. But equally, again, her tags are very fun. Uh, her uh, JMO, just my opinion, thing is cool. All right, and finally we have Kara. She's really sort of Shakespeare man. She did Shakespeare Week recently and invented the Shakespeare tag. Another one who's just super friendly, always fun to chat to. Both, you know, whether you're commenting on her videos or she's sort of supportive the other way around as well so I got up and chat to her and mine and I don't know I just really like I like her tags a lot because I think she comes up with some fantastic answers as well but equally she's another one of those booktubers where we have an overlapping reading taste so she'll introduce me to stuff I've just never heard of and that maybe I might not even be interested in but that I like to know about but at the same time she'll read stuff that I'm reading or that's on my TBR as well so I, I just think that's cool that's always what I look out for in a booktuber really so anyway on that note thanks a lot for watching don't forget to subscribe to all of these channels or as many of them as you can and that take your interest and also check out the videos leave a few comments say I sent you it's always appreciated and uh, yeah on that note thanks a lot for watching please do hit that like button if you found this video useful subscribe to my channel too if you want more bookish videos and i will see you soon for another one thanks a lot bye bye